thank you everyone for being here today. Honorable ambassadors, representatives from diplomatic corps, honorable representative of US Department of State of US government, honorable former and actual US ambassador to Albania, Albanian and American diplomats, honorable representative of Albanian community, dear friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. There is a great reason why we are all here and celebrating. We mark 25 years of re-establishment of diplomatic relations between Albania and the United States. The history of friendship between our countries actually goes much longer. The first Albanians arrived in the United States as economic emigrants by the beginning of the last century. It was the Albanian community since then quite instrumental in their request to the American president of that time. In 1912, Albania declared its independence, but it was only after the World War I that President Woodrow Wilson publicly recognized the existence of the state of Albania. Albanian people never forget this. The diplomatic relations were once established in 1922. They ended in 1939 and practically kept our countries apart for almost 50 years. And here it was 1991. You all have followed up last year the raise of the American flag in Cuba. Think of Albania in 1991. It was so emotional. We saw our road open between Albania and United States. Actually, it was not a road. It was a very broad highway. The United States have helped and supported us in our path towards freedom and democracy in our efforts for building a sustainable market. Economy and state of the rule of law. They have backed us in every step of difficult road towards a Euro-Atlantic integration. Starting from the scratch 25 years ago, Albania since 2009 is a member of NATO. Since 2014 is a candidate country to the EU. Last year we signed a declaration of strategic partnership with the United States. Today we are proudly strategic partners with them. And we are also important peacekeeping missions in Iraq and Afghanistan work closely together in the global coalition against terrorism. Our bilateral relations are in their best time and a great number of high-level visits exchanged between our countries in the last year are a perfect testimony to that. The ties of friendship between our governments and our people have only strengthened and multiplied. The visit of Secretary Kerry in Tirana, which gave great messages and hopes to the Albanian people in moving the country forward, and the visit of Minister of Foreign Affairs Bushati in Washington this past month will give a new boost to this relationship between our countries. I cannot go through all and actors and factors that brought these countries together. But as a symbol, let me thank the people of Albania and America, our states and our governments, who keep alive this friendship. I have the privilege to thank actually all of you who are in this room and gave a great contribution, especially in the last 25 years on this relationship. I have here today Albanian, the US ambassadors, the current and previous one, I would like to give a good applause to them. We have Albanian and American diplomats who are in this room who have been working in both countries in the last 25 years, representative of US government, business community, think tanks and NGOs, representative of the great Albanian American community. Thank you all for being here to celebrate together. And uh, in this note, I would like to have your permission to give the floor to two of my colleagues and great friends. Mr. Tom Yazgerdi, the Director for South Central European Affairs. He is today to speak on behalf of US government. But I gave myself the freedom to say my colleague and friends because for the first time we met together in the year 2000 when he was the political officer at the US Embassy in Tirana and I was the director of the American Chamber of Commerce. And uh, I also have the great privilege to give 
my word to the, the, the word to speak to Ambassador Liu, who is currently the U.S. Ambassador in Albania. His Excellency is, uh, we have the great chance to have him here today as one of his few days in Washington. I hope that with his speech, he will represent the Albanian and the U.S. government diplomats who have served in respective countries in the last 25 years. And it was them, actually, who made instrumental the relationship that our countries have today. Mr. Yalis Gerdi, the floor is yours.